evening and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. If you think you've seen more homeless people in the area, you most likely have because the numbers are going up. At least that's what experts are predicting. The Homeless Coalition of the Wabash Valley had its annual July homeless count today. It's a way to get a more accurate idea of the homeless population in Vigo and surrounding counties. New for you tonight at 10, News 10's Kit Hanley has more on how the count works and why it's important. The Homeless Coalition of the Wabash Valley had its annual July homeless count on Wednesday. The coalition is made up of different Wabash Valley agencies, Mental Health America, Hamilton Center, Reach Services, and Catholic Charities, just to name a few. They do outreach at soup kitchens, libraries, substance abuse programs, and campsites to get a head count. We do a little further than what the federal um, study does in January because we want a more accurate count of what our what our real issue is here um, in Vigo and surrounding counties. Brendan Kearns is the coalition co-chair. He tells me unfortunately the homeless count has grown quite a bit in recent months. We are seeing people that we haven't seen before so I don't know if they're new homeless. Um, we do know that we have people coming from outlying areas because we do provide so many good services. He said providing good care can come with a price. If you provide good services, people know that they're going to be coming here. That increases the population. Kern says this count is a way to raise awareness, address what needs to change in agency programming, and provide resources. And so we'll get to know why they are in their situation and try to help them through that. He encourages people not to do individual outreach because it can be dangerous. Instead, ask an agency how you can help. Kearns tells me the group counted 27 homeless people in jail alone. Now as for the rest of the numbers, those should be available in two weeks' time. Reporting in Vigo County, Kid Hanley, News 10.